In an earlier video, I showed how to pop out the G1000 screens in Xplane and make them full screen on external Flight Sim Builder G1000 screens without the pesky title bar. It relied on dragging the borders to change the width and height of the G1000 windows separately, independently of each other. In Xplane 12.1, this behavior has changed. Now, if you change the width of the G1000 window, the height changes as well and vice versa. So you cannot uh, resize the windows, uh, resize the height and width of the windows independently. And double clicking the title bar maximizes the window, but there is no quick way to get rid of the title bar and truly go full screen. One of the commenters on my previous video pointed that out and he also provided the solution. Thank you very much if you are watching this. In this video, I dive into that solution. I just wish this was easier to do in Xplane. Anyway, in Xplane 12.1, pop out the G1000 windows and place them on the external PFD and MFD screens. Now double click the title bar to maximize the windows and note that the PFD window is titled Pilot-1000 and the MFT window is titled Center-1000. Now exit explain. When you quit out of explain, explain writes the window locations to its uh, settings file and we are going to modify this settings file to get rid of the title bar. Now go to your explain 12 folder and click on output and go to preferences and you will see a file here miscellaneous.prf open that file and this is the file where the G1, G1000 window coordinates are saved and we can search for the title that we noted earlier so pilot 1000 so these are the settings related to the PFT and the particular line that we want is this line right here right so the first two numbers they represent the coordinates of the top left so the top left of the G1000 and uh, this is the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. The third and fourth numbers, they represent the bottom right corner of the G1000 window, right? And similarly, if you search for center-1000, you will see uh, the same set of settings and uh, you will see some different numbers here depending on how your windows are arranged. The trick here is you can change these numbers to modify the width or the height of the G1000 screens independently um, without impacting both at the same time. So what I did is the Y coordinate, which uh, has the title bar in it. So I set the Y, I reduce the Y coordinate so that the title bar of the G1000 screen is just outside the external flight sim builder monitor. And uh, it, it uh, goes into the main monitor but uh, that's fine because when we are flying, we won't be able to see the title bar unless we click onto the G1000 screen. And I will show that when I start explain. So go to your miscellaneous.prf and just change the Y coordinate of both the um, PFD and the MFD and reduce them. Now, after you change your settings dot uh, miscellaneous.prf and restart explain, you will see the window titles here, PFD and MFD titles, that's just outside the external screens. But it doesn't matter because when we are actually flying and a flight is started, the title bars will become invisible there. The flight is started, you can see the title. And once I click on the main screen, you'll see the title bars disappear. And now I have full screen uh, PFD and MFD. The title bars will come back only if you go to the external screen and click on it. But we are not going to do this when we are flying. So it's not a factor. So there you go. Full screen G1000 in Xplane 12.1 after the window resize behavior has been changed. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like videos like this, please give this a like, uh, share with your friends and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.